and the princess. Good day, everyone. It's Peachy, and we just finished chapter four. Vivian is so very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? <gasps> There's Dupless. He just ran by so quick. But anyways, Princess Peach! Oh, I love her moments. Oh shoot, today's Thursday. That means my voice is so tired. Okay, um. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Speak up, x Not. Yes, sir, quite sure. I poured over all our research of the Thousand Year Door. And it appears the ceiling, ceiling power has definitely been weakening as Beldum said. Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness will soon be ours. Listen, and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. Exot salute. Soon I will have the power that slept for millennia. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the ex not Rigme, Riem, and the Nigratus will build a new world. A perfect ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. <laughs> oh, man. That was a lot. Us. Tech, did you call me? Aw, oh, dang it, we didn't get a peach segment in the her room. What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't see yourself. Which is more important, carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. In any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz? A quiz? That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions that I am about to ask you. If you answer five, you may use the communicator. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now then, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? The thousand year door opens. Correct. Second question. What is the goal of Groudus? To conquer the world. Correct. Third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Oh! Tech, is this? Princess Peach, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits? A, a thousand year old demon soul. Correct. Now the fourth question. What does Sir Gratis wish to do with this ancient demon? Bring the demon back to life. Correct. Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Crystal stars. Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. So that's it? A quiz? Ah oh, well, it was Peach. Uh, okay, I'm done. Could you send it? 
the message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. Good night, Princess Peach. Eee, so there's a demon behind that thousand year old door, huh? And Groudus wishes to resurrect said beast. Creepy and suspenseful. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. But regardless, we're gonna have another Bowser moment. Oh, these are just so fun. I love them. My lord, I received reports of a great secret floating town of Giltsville. Let's ride the cheap glint there. You there, two tickets. One great and evil king, one sweet young thang. G -g Good gravy. B -b Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag. Life's too short. Ah. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you. Impudent little cheapskate. Huh? Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where did Lord Bowser go? <laughs> hey, it's Bowser's clown, clown car. We haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> Forget that, wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this, baby. I stuck into Giltsville once before, so I know the way. No problem, old. You go easy on your limbs. Take the slow like Grandma. <laughs> oh, Bowser, you're so funny. Wait, Lord Bowser, please. Ah, uh, now my special durable deluxe brown bag Cammy lunch will go to waste. Oh, that's cool. Cammy made them lunch to take on the trip. Bowser. It's Bowser! Run! Huh? That don't sound right. What's that warning light? Oh! <laughs> no! It's too bad that Bowser in recent games doesn't really talk. He just sorts of grunts like a certain annoying monkey at times. Ready to roll! Oh yeah! Best Bowser mom ever. Give me that ham! Or me, or whatever it is. Good thing Bowser is extra large. Or else we won't be able to navigate this stage very good. Oh, poor Bowser, he shrunk. And it's over the water level that I love so much. Oh! That Goomba hurt Bowser? I didn't even think that was possible. Ah, oh, whatever. At least Bowser made it to the castle. That's all that counts, right? I think Bowser moments are funny in this game as well. Finish! Ugh! Hack! Ooh! Achoo! That was terrible! I gotta get in shape! Who's- Wah! It's Bowser the Koopa King! He'll eat us! Oh, so she made it to Giltsville. She's got that hat on. Oh, no, it's a banner? I don't know. It's something. But balloons? There you are, Lord Bazzi. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Really? Neat. As for me, Giltsville was fantastic. The flights, the fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking when my mama gave me. No idea what that means. Ah, dog, Yummerly, you have fun too? <laughs> no! Lord Bowser, is that a no? It was terrible, 
Will you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper of what I had to have fun. But forget it. It's over. Now go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars. No! Bowser just fried up his poor assistant. And she's been working day and night for him. Your progress was saved. It better be, or else I'll be upset that I didn't save. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Maybe a little. Er, well, alright. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. So then, you've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit any time you like. Well, alright then. So we actually finished, officially finished chapter 4. So now, what's going to be our upcoming challenge for the next chapter? So, but first we need to do a little few errands before I depart Twilight Town. How depressing it is to hear that music, right? Greetings! Welcome, uh, store. Oh no, I didn't... I have to withdraw that later, but first. Oh, ho, oh, ha, ha! This is Mario. The real Mario. So it's kind of cool that we got Mario back to his original self along with his new friend, Vivian. Which I'm really looking forward to having her in battle for the remainder of this game. Yes, yes. I just. I don't care about sleeping. I just care about getting that um, peachy peach you offer to us. Cause where in the world can we other, where in the world can you get a peachy peach besides this place? Did you sleep well? Well, have a nice twilight. I think out of all the chapters we've done, or I've done, I believe chapter 4 has been the shortest so far, right? Well, if you don't count the, what do you call it, the prologue. Oh my goodness, Mario, would that be an email from Princess Peach? On top of it, baby. My dear Mario, I have finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The ex not plan to revive the thousand-year-old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal star so they can open the door. They'll find this demon spirit. But the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to the horrible plans. Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit? A spirit, you say, huh? Doesn't sound too good, if you know what I mean. But first, we got a few things I need to do before I have to conclude. Um, I said I had a few things to do and I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I have a good seven minutes to try and wrap things up. So I will do my best to get it all done before I leave you for next week, pondering what's going to happen next. But by this point in time, we've got five partners, which I'm very happy about. But you know what? We're going to need some more partners in order to make this game more fun. Yes, yes. Okay, I think I have three things that I need to do. Okay, so I think we'll start here. That's right. Oh, we need to upgrade Vivian first. 
Shazibi! Shazobi! Then you may go. Alright, Vivian, so now you're all upgraded. Okay, so I bet some of you are wondering, what's behind this door? Well, let's find out. Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? If you plan on using our services, I can explain them for you first. Need an explanation? No. I see. Then get out of here! Ah, do we really have to? Then listen good. This is the Trouble Center where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone to try to help them not out. If not, not. Help someone out, they'll give you a roar. Not bad. But remember, if you decide not to solve, you have to pay. Dang. Got that? Well, good. Then go help someone. Need a key. Price adjustment. I'm hungry. Emergency. Play with me. Help my daddy. The food I want. Exclusive badge? Ooh. I'm after an exclusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. This poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. You want to take on the trouble? Do it and do it right. Well, if there's a badge at stake, I sure as heck want it. So we need to meet them on top of Zesty's house, huh? I got a question. Why am I a Goomba? Because the designers felt that's who your personality was, I guess. Oh, there's Luigi. Is that your brother Luby? Wait, no, I mean Lufa. I mean Luigi. If you wonder what Luigi's up to, I'm sure he'd tell you. All you gotta do is ask. In fact, he kinda looks like he's dying to tell you stuff, so you gotta rap it with him. Yeah, I'm Torco, and I... T and don't think for a second this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason why I let him my ring was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in for one second before he completely totals it, idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays the $5,000 coin repair cost. Ah, Luigi. <laughs> You've been doing a lot of messed up things lately, such as dressing up as a bride, dropping bloopers into Ms. Mouse, into lava. That's Miss Mouse the thief. She jets off to exotic places to find the rare badges. She's only like the biggest flirt I ever met in my entire life. It's weird that she's the anonymous requester of that super secret badge. <laughs> oh hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Hmm, am I a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble? Well, let me get to right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one exclusive badge, but I failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in the hotel's lair of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Oh, so Ms. Mouse can't find a badge, and there's a hint to use the wind, right? I have a feeling we know how to get that badge. So we'll ha I'll have to, off, off camera, I'll have to go back to the Hooktail's castle and get that mysterious badge. Do it and do it right, said that thing. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot my cats were in here. Remember how I said that in the first episode? Well, I better let them out. They're probably getting tired. I don't think I ever showed you this room, did I? Ooh. Vivian, you didn't make it, huh? You got a spike shield! Finally! 
Out of all the badges in Paper Mario, that one I find the most helpful. And I'm glad that I got it in my possession once again after I get spiked. Because as you remember, there's some enemies who have a spike on their heads and it's very annoying that they have it and I don't. Ooh, that was close. I would have made it, would I? But now that we got the badge, there's no problem and no worries about it, so let's get going. I can't believe I didn't smash this block yet. Alright everyone, so my time is up for this week, however, um, I did leave you with upgrading and showing you Ms. Mouse and plus I need to go back into the Pit of a Hunt Trials once again and like for many of the times before, I will show off the new enemies that I encounter and then I will of course show the badge but all of that will be done in post commentary. But um, for now, we'll just save it and I shall see you next time for most likely the start of chapter 5. So until next time, bye!